In this video, I'm going to be going over the top 10 harvesting creatures in Ark Survival Evolved. At number 10, I'm going to start it off with the trike. It's just really good at early game. You can get a bunch of berries, which is super necessary for making narcotics in order to tame other creatures. You can also get thatch with it as well in the early game, so it's just a really solid creature starting out. Number 9 is the Mantis. This one's really good on Scorched Earth and other maps too that it has it on. Because you can put like items inside of its hands, like pickaxes and stuff, and you can mine whatever you want. So you can mine like stone, you can mine wood with hatchets, or you can get a bunch of fiber, which is probably one of the best things you can get with this with the, the sickle. Number 8 is the Bronto. I feel like this one's kind of underrated, I don't really know. But this one I like a lot for getting berries in the late game because it just has a huge area of effect. So you can just like do one swipe and get hundreds of berries, which is great for getting narco berries and getting narcotics. And then at number 7 we have the Moss Chops. Now and this one is one of the most loved harvesting creatures and I agree it is really good. Especially early game you can tame one of these super easy off the bat and get a crap ton of fiber. As well as you can get berries and it harvest all kinds of stuff. At number 6 we have the Giant Beaver. This one's great for getting wood because it has a weight reduction on wood. So you can just get a ton of it and carry a ton in its inventory. And then bring it back to wherever you need to go. At number 5 we have the Dodicarus. This one's like essential for getting stone because it's like the only creature that can harvest it. And it gets a ton of stone as well. And it has a weight reduction on it and it can roll around which is pretty useful. So this one is going to be number 5. Number 4 we have the Anki. For the longest time this was the only creature that could get metal and it still is extremely useful to this day on most maps. because You can get tons of metal. You can also get crystal and obsidian all with it. I mean it's great. And it has a weight reduction on metal too. Number three, we have the Magmasaur, which also is the newest creature that can get metal, and this one is amazing. You can get so much metal, and you can smelt it in its inventory too, which isn't really that useful. I don't use that much, but mainly it gets tons of metal super easy. It can also defend itself too if you get attacked, which is a nice bonus. At number two is the Therizinosaur. Now this is an amazing harvesting creature. You can get all kinds of stuff. You can get wood mainly, you can get hide, you can get fiber. For the longest time, people say that this was the best harvesting mount creature, but there's one more that was added, and I'm pretty sure you guys know what it is, that just is better than everything else. And at number one is the Strider. This thing is absolutely ridiculous. I don't know what they were thinking when they added this thing. It's so overpowered, so you can like get the harvesting attachment, and it'll literally harvest anything in the entire game. You just look in the direction, and it instantly destroys it and puts it all in your inventory. And you can also have it to where it's set up to one of your tech-dedicated storages and it automatically sends the resources over to it. So, I mean, this thing is just completely ridiculous, and it's amazing for getting any resource you need. That's going to be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe. Thanks for watching, and bye.